Now we're gonna move into my favorite Jordan, the number eight. Favorite pair, favorite Jordan, I don't know why, man. I think it's because nobody really likes them, but I love them. And when they, every time they come out with a pair, I try to grab them. So we're gonna start with these. I call these, well, I don't even know. They might have been called the South Beach Eights. I don't really remember. All right, that's them. And, and guess what? I wears my shoes. I wears my shoes. Then we got these. Another pair. I was blessed with. These ones right here. This is, they got something on the tongue. Together, dream together. I think these was, uh, I forgot how I came across them. Can do anything with them, man. Just look at them, the combination. Just look at them. And, Jordan won the championship, man, so, you know, that's how it goes. Then you got the, the Wolf Grey joints. See that? Where's my shoes, man? Great joints. <sighs> what are these? These are the um, alternate 93s, I think. Yep, I mean, you know that. White, red, and black joints. Yes, I wear them. Wears and toes out. I'm a web. I wear my shoes now. I wear my shoes. I got you. Got to know that. Um, what it is before I open them. Before I open them. Hmm. These are. I bet you these the Sequoia joints. They call them AKA somewhat undefeated. I believe this what these are. I yeah, told you. Yes, sir. Them joints. Nice, man. I came up off of these off of a store that we got here in Baltimore, man. It's called 9 out of 10. Charging a good price. Didn't, didn't bust me in my head or nothing like that. Fair price, fair price. These are hmm, my favorites. My favorite pair of eights. Colorway, everything. Some of y'all may know it. Comment down below if you know what they're going to be. Some of y'all may know. Some of y'all probably got multiple pairs. That's them Aqua 8 things, man. These were the 2015 release. Yep, 2015 release, if y'all can see that. 2015. Man, when I was able to get these, man, I came up off of these off of raffle. I came up, up off of these off of raffle from finish line. Finish line, man. She still got the receipt. For the receipt police out there, you know. And then I got one more pair. Oh, we came with the retro card, too. Retro card, man. This favorite shoe, man. Retro card. Got to keep these. These will never leave my collection. I'm telling y'all that now. These will never leave my collection. Then, the most iconic pair of Jordan 8. And I'm pretty sure everybody has. Pretty sure, man. Pretty sure. If you know what came in this box before they switched to this box, then you know what's in this box. Best playoff eights, man. Playoff eights. Playoff eights. These were actually my first pair of Jordans that I was able to buy with my own money. Yup. I was 15, 15 and nine months working at Wendy's. And I spent, how much were these? I want to get the prices right. Look, 
I'll tell y'all something. 2013. 2013 is when I got them. I spent a hundred and sixty-nine dollars and sixty cents. Bro. Right. Now you spent two hundred and two hundred and one dollars and forty cent on a pair on a pair of shoes that we used to pay a hundred and sixty nine dollars for. Something ain't right. Something ain't right. But while I got y'all attention, go to bumsofamerica.com, get your merch, and you probably can still use that code. I don't know. You got to go there and, and try it. But bombsofamerica.com. The link's going to be down below in the description. Freestyleusa.com. That code WATCHSHORE10. Get 10% off your entire purchase. <sighs> this video might be broken up into two parts. I don't know yet. But let's get to it. Pair drawer one. Lowe's. I don't really know why I grabbed these. I just, mm hmm. I guess I seen them. I wanted them. Then I, then I end up just playing basketball, man. Basketball in these joints, man. I wear them. I hoop in them. I actually like hooping in a low top sneaker. I don't know why. It's high tops really, I feel like they hinder my movement somewhat. So that's why I don't really need them high top sneakers. Now these right here are what came in this box. I ain't too sure. Oh yeah, the these was the hair ones. These came out Easter. As you can see, I wear my shoes, man. I wear them. That's them. Uh, I ain't pulling these out the box, man. Y'all know what these are, man. By that, by that tab right there, y'all know what these are. I ain't pulling them out. Y'all know how much it is pulling these. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and throw it for y'all. You know what they are. I ain't, it ain't too much I gotta say. Pair left. Everybody got them. And if you ain't get them, I hope you ain't get bust in the head for them. <sighs> what are these? What are these? Hmm. You gonna guess them before I open. These are the Liberty Tens. Came out All Star Weekend 2014, Valentine's Day. Yup. These came out Valentine's Day. When I got these, man, I was. I had to have them. I don't know why, but I had to have them. I cut my them go. You see? Oh, yeah. Still got the receipt in them. The receipt faded though. All right. I can't really tell what the date was. Ah. Yeah, got them down. These, these came out All Star Weekend. Yep. Had to have. Had to. <sighs> Some of y'all might not like 14, but this is the only 14 that I like. And I played basketball in these. Probably the worst idea I could have ever done, man. Terrible on the feet. Hurt the hell out my feet. Um, that's for the most part of the Jordans and shit and stuff. My bad. But we're going to move on to 97 tracks. No, Air Max Plus. These are OG joints. Real OG steppers, man. If you know, then you know, man. Um, <sighs> we got the pressed over X. Probably one of the most comfortable shoes that I've ran in. But working out wise, it's terrible. Stability is terrible. I got these ones. So yeah, I got, I got, I, I got a cup. Got a few pairs. Then I got these ones. These are the first pair to come. This was the first colorway to drop. Then I got. Oh. 
And I got these joints right here. So that's just just take a look at the Presto Reacts. While this box fell, move on to the Prestos. I got I got whatever you think I got, man. I got it. Probably don't. For the most part, I try. Then you got the gold joints, the golden blacks. Um, some of these pairs I got here, and then some of them I went to Pennsylvania to get. They had better sales up there, and there's no tax. So, got the red, white, and blue joints. I call them your Americanas, your Fourth of July. Then it's Oh yeah, these was the, the beater joints, boy. I ran these into the dirt. Ran these into the dirt. Now, that's the black and white pair, right? The black and white pair. Now we're gonna we're gonna go to the to the real raw ones, man. Right? That I literally probably did everything in these. The black joints, man. These joints, boy. Don't ever. Ever, 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 Presto guys, Presto reacts, you know, Air Max over there, you know, I'm, I'm very, I guess, open to all types of shoes. Y'all might just see like a few bias, I might notice it now at the beginning. Um, one specific brand heavy than any other and it always hasn't been like that. It, it recently happened like that. Um, so yeah, they the Prestos, the Presto Reacts, the Air Maxes. While they down here, the last dance just came on. And these go back to, if you ain't have a pair of tempos, man, it, it ain't right, man. Don't don't go getting them now because they're gonna try to bust you in your head for them. However, though, if you can get a pair for a decent price, get them. Some people call them ant bad stompers. You know, I don't know why. But for the most part, the shoe is great. It's, it's built to last, literally. It's a good shoe. I don't know about playing basketball, and I haven't tried that yet. I don't think I will ever try it. For me, they're a little too heavy. Some people may say, I hooped in the eights, and some people say, those are heavy. But not me, they, they cool for real. I hooped in the eights, they all right. Would I do it again? Probably not, because technology has changed and, and we move forward. Um. Uh, that's it. That's that's them. That's the running shoes. Well, that's not all the running shoes. In fact, while I'm while we talking about it, I might as well just put the rest of them out too, right? These, I don't know how I got these, but these just turned into like workout shoes, quick jogs. It just turned into that. Ah, uh, uh, you know what? I got these from a DTLR outlet. Yeah, and they were, they went from, they were $84, but then I get to the register and I paid $52 and some change for them. I couldn't beat it, you know, I couldn't beat it, I said, why not, grab it, grab them. Um, ooh, yeah, some of the most comfortable shoes ever, man. The Vapor Max Plus, bro. Air Vapor Max Plus. These joints right here, you can literally walk all day. So I not only have one pair, I not only have two pairs. However, I have three pairs, man. 
these are very special time because when I wore these, it was at my uh, gender reveal. And those are the shoes that I wore when I found out I was having a boy. So, I, I will never get rid of these. These I will never get rid of. And I came up off of these off of a... I think I, I, think I got these off of Nike. Nike or Finish Line. It was a restock. It is Finish Line. Receipt for the receipt police. Mm. Hey, that's how I came up off of these, but these will never leave my collection. Never. It don't matter how things get, never leave. Um, and while else while I'm down here, let's get to, ooh, mm -hmm. 270s. These were the Air Max days. The Air Max day. I picked these up. Yeah, you see that? March 26th. Can't, can't get rid of them, man, either. And then there's these right here. Them right there, man. Got two pairs of them. That's it. And I really haven't seen any colorways else that I will get. Um, then there's a shoe right here that some people are still looking to get and, and paying prices. I think that are ridiculous for them, man. These are the Sean Worthy Spoons, man. Sean Worthy Spoons. I came off of these off of a Nike restock. Patience, patience, patience was the key because when I first wanted them, look, receipt for the receipt for these. Um, I wanted them bad and I missed out. I missed out. And I told myself, if they come back around, I have to try and get them. Patiently, patiently waiting, waiting and waiting. Seen a restock. Hopped in line. Got my size 10 and a half. And I own them. You know, I wear them. You know, I wear my shoes. Because that's, that's what Sean would want. He would want me to wear my shoes. You know. <sighs> That's that. That's the Sean Worthy Spoons. I got a, a few more collabs over here. Some people may be interested, some may not. Uh, I may split this up to two parts. I don't know yet. Stay tuned.